What's up guys, more Medic One here. Hey, listen, today we're gonna be working on the old test mule. I haven't cranked or worked on it. I haven't looked at this thing since last winter. So it's been sitting all winter and it's been sitting, oh, all majority of the summer. And one of the reasons that I haven't cranked it is because the gas tank has got a crack in the seam and the gas comes out as fast as you pour it in. Today's video is brought to you in part by ProPartsDirect.net. They supplied the parts for me and uh, we'll get this thing going. I love the way I've got this thing set up with a spray rig on the back. I may or may not take the cutting deck off of it, but I plan on putting these tractor grip tires on it that I have sitting over here at some point, not today. Today we're gonna just get it to where we can crank it and uh, let's see how it turns out. Now you can tell that this tank's been leaking or seeping for, for some time around the edge. It's just got a bunch of crap, dirt built up around the tank. That's a telltale sign that you have a leak. All that dirt likes to stick to it. But this gas tank is pretty easy to replace. You shouldn't have to do anything like remove an engine or take a console out. Uh, this is the Murray wide body and it's got these extended wings with a couple of screws here on each side that we'll have to remove to be able to get to the screws. Now I have in the past with customers uh, permission drill a hole right in the side to gain access to those screws but I think we'll be all right. We'll just go ahead and remove these four Phillips screws. There might be one here. Once you get them loose, this side panel will just come right off of there. Now, once you get your side panels off, it's pretty straightforward. You just got a couple of screws, one here, take them all the way out just yet. You can see the frame is notched right there to help you get it started. take it all the way out. If you haven't already, just disconnect your fuel lines from the carburetor. We should be able to finagle this up out of there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the two front screws and just get them finger tight. And remember, this is those plastite screws and you don't wanna over tighten these because you just kill the gas tank if you did. Let's go ahead and get it set down in there. Now. This is a new tank. It's been sitting on the shelf. It's a little dusty. Just set it in there like that. Now you can just take the gas tank, use the screws as a pivot point. And then you can start your back screws. I highly suggest installing these screws by hand. You can run them up with electric tools. Just be super careful.
went ahead and installed me a new fuel filter and all new fuel lines as the other ones were just completely rotten. Since I don't plan on using this tractor for the rest of this summer, I'm going to put some non-ethanol engineered fuel in the gas tank. That way we don't have to worry about it gumming up the carburetor. Alrighty guys, let's give it a cold start and we'll choke it. This thing hasn't been cranked in a good while. The battery might be dead. Good idle, good wide open throttle. She smokes a little bit. She's over 20 years old. This is the engine whenever it cools off a little bit and I have some more time to get out here without it being a million degrees. We're gonna tear this engine down and we're gonna freshen this up. I've got all the parts. I've got the piston rings, all the gaskets. I've got a ball hone that we're gonna use to uh, Clean up the cylinder, everything. I've got, uh, I'll show you how to cut the seats in the head, how to lap the valves. Basically, you just do a refresh. We're not gonna rebuild it because we don't have, you know, we're not gonna go all the way per the book specs on everything. The crank pin could be worn out a little bit, but the engine don't knock. So I'm just, you know, it's just a good, candidate for some good video content for you guys. battery started that motor. I can't I don't remember what kind of battery it was. Motor start. I think that came from uh, parts plus or Napa no, I can't remember. Anyway it was a parts plus slash Napa store is where it came from. Alrighty guys, hey, we got that gas tank installed on the old Murray Goat. And I tell you what, I'm looking forward, got dirty. I'm looking forward to uh, doing this video. I just need it to cool off a little bit. I've got to do some work to the shop truck back here in the back. You can barely see it right there. I've got some brakes grinding on it. It's not metal to metal. I think I've got a wheel bearing going out. I may pull it in here next and may shoot a video on that or not, I don't know. But hey, if this content helped you out, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there doing that, go ahead and click that bell so that you get all of my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your week. More Medic One. Oh yeah, one last thing. If you don't want your knees to be blasted by hot air from the engine, you better put these side covers back on.